hello. I'm Dr. Alexander Sinclair, your board certified plastic surgeon. Today I'd like to talk about some exciting developments on the horizon of plastic surgery. You might not know this, but plastic surgeons have been on the forefront of many medical changes. As a matter of fact, the specialty is all about change, changing people and furthering new developments. That's sort of the piece of property that plastic surgeons own. In the 50s, plastic surgeons were the first doctors to do kidney transplants. Right now, plastic surgery teams are working on stem cell research. What they're finding is that stem cells occur in fatty tissue much more frequently than had been thought. As a matter of fact, you may find a stem cell in every 200 cells in your adipose or fat cell area compared to one in a few thousand in blood or bone marrow. That means that fat is a really ripe place to find stem cells. Well, what does a stem cell do and what is that? We hear about it all the time. Think about this. You have over 200 different types of cell types in your body. For example, you have fat cells and you have bone cells and you have muscle cells and kidney cells. A stem cell is the type of cell that when properly stimulated can develop into any of those cell lines. That's pretty incredible because if you think about it, one of the real problems with aging or disease or trauma is the loss of certain cells. For example, if you have a heart attack, you're going to lose heart cells. Well, there's no way the body can make new heart cells unless a key were used to unlock that secret process and stem cells can do that. Now, the applicability here in the plastic sur surgery world, one of the early applicabilities is for breast reconstruction and even breast augmentation. Because if we can take fat cells, and that is the stem cell, and then stimulate that stem cell and program it to replicate and build a breast, we'll be able to build breasts with your own tissue. That's an exciting concept, and it's being done. And it's not just being done in the labs, but it's being done in experimental settings around the world. Right now in Europe, Asia, and in the United States, there are programs underway to reconstruct breasts using a person's own fat by stimulating stem cells. We're not ready to do this on an everyday basis for breast augmentations, but I would say within my lifetime it will happen. So stay tuned. I want to do an update on this because this area is changing rapidly and there are many applications of this stem cell therapy for plastic surgery. I'm Dr. Alexander Sinclair, your board certified plastic surgeon.